Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be gemming the Brawl Pass to get the new Brawler Bell. We're gonna be maxing her out and then playing some games, showing her off, you know, testing her out and then giving you guys our thoughts about Bell at the end of this. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so we do need to buy some gems and then no, there is no code core yet. I see a lot of comments about it, but one of our best friends inside the game, Spen, finally got his code. Uh, so we're gonna be using code Spen in the shop and we're gonna be gemming the Brawl Pass. All right, tier 12, we got a ways to go, so let's start gemming. All right, so that cost us a ton of gems, and hopefully you guys just like the video, subscribe if you already haven't, uh, and I appreciate it so much, and I can keep doing more videos like this for you guys, so, uh, but without further ado, let's get Bell and let's start maxing her out. All right, so we did push Bell to rank 10 off screen. So we just have a little bit better understanding how Bell works. And that way we can give you some better tips and tricks. We're gonna be playing Bell inside of every single mode that's out right now. So that way we can show you kind of how Bell works in every single mode. And uh, we'll give you our thoughts and tips along the way. So let's hop straight into it. So hopping straight into Showdown right away here. Now, the best part about Bell in Showdown is how long of a range she has. And also you're gonna see her shot bounces from box to box. It actually gets cut off by that little tree there which is unfortunate um, but if you have boxes like in the middle here we're just gonna go for the boxes in the middle so we can show you that it's bouncing between all the boxes which is actually so helpful in destroying the boxes now amber is gonna come over and take our boxes unfortunately so we do not like that at all but we are gonna be bouncing the shots and we're gonna amber is gonna go down so a little bit of karma there for taking all of our boxes but we're gonna keep our range now we do not want to get close to Edgar because Edgar is ooh, Hopefully we can kill Edgar here. Hopefully Stu just supers and there we go. So this is looking good. Stu is low. We're going to go for Stu. Look at our range here. We're hitting Stu off screen. He can't even, we don't even know where he is, but he's going to be, oh, he's right there. Okay, nice. So we hit Stu in the bush. We finally get some boxes to our name and this is looking solid. So we're going to be placing a gadget actually in this bush. That way, if someone ever tries to sneak in this bush, they'll get spot out by that gadget. Now the gadget is actually pretty useful. You just have to know where to use it and when to use it. You're gonna to wanna to use it for mostly defensive purposes, trying to protect yourself because I don't really see a great use in offense. I mean, obviously there is sometimes situational uses in offense, but again, the gadget is gonna be used to defend yourself most likely and most of the time. But nonetheless, there is someone in this bush. We know that they're there and they're just hiding the entire time. So that's super annoying. And we're going to try to get our super to show you guys what our super does. And we're going to three tap them there. So very nice. Now we do have our super. So we want them to come in the open so we can super. And we just super backwards, guys. But anyway, the super will hit the target and will make us do more damage. And that will stay on the nanny or whoever we hit for as long as uh, the entire game until we kill nanny. Uh, but we'll give you a better example of that in the next game. Hopping into the, a knockout game, the new mode inside of Brawl Stars here, and I believe Bell will be really good here just because you see actually that shot is bouncing between all of them. They're going to get us extremely low, and if they don't split up, they were going to take a lot of damage there. So we do keep hitting Mr. P. Mr. P is going to go down here, or someone's going to go down if they don't split up. So we get a nice kill there, two dead, and now there is just Spike remaining, so we do have to go after Spike. Now, uh, we're going to save our gadgets for next round. Maybe we can get a use out of our gadgets. But again, gadgets going to be used for a defensive purpose. And you see that long range. Spike has no shot of defending that. And now we're going to be trying to get our super active here. So we're actually getting melted here. And we're going to hit our super. So now you'll see Mr. P is marked. Mr. P is going to take more damage when we hit him. And that, and that is what we're going to be trying to do here. So we're going to try to show you how much extra damage we actually do to Mr. P, which is crazy. <laughs> so our team actually takes him down, which is no big deal. Um, but again, you'll also notice when I hit a shot that I gain it. Oh, I do go down there. But you'll notice when I do hit a shot, uh, I do gain a 25% shield, which is crazy. That is Bell's star power. It's actually very, very strong. And if you're hitting shots, you're going to become actually pretty tanky inside the game. But again, you're still going to want to keep your range, not get too close because uh bell struggles at close range 
All right, now hopping into gem grab. So we're gonna be playing mid probably, I believe. And that is probably where you should be playing uh, Bell. Honestly, Bell will be very good on open maps. That is where Bell is gonna shine the most, but we're gonna be sniping them across the map here. And we do not wanna deal with this mortis. So we're gonna actually place a trap here. So if someone ever comes this far up, they're gonna get hit by our trap. And we're trying to hit mortis here. So we can actually snipe mortis from a very far range. And we do get Mortis down there. And if we hit Stu there, he would have died as well. But we unfortunately missed that shot. Uh, but nonetheless, oh, we did get caught in the... in the. Oh, see, <laughs> there you go. Lou hit our gadget and went down instantly. And then we will get that uh, kill onto Lou there. And now Mortis is marked, so he will take more damage. Uh, I can't believe he's still alive. I thought our team was going to kill him there. Uh, but we will have to... We actually don't kill him there, so that is kind of wild. I thought he was going to die to our teammates, and then we just kind of suicided to try to kill him, but no big deal because we will get this kill. He's still marked, see? And you see we do so much damage once they're marked, and then Stu's going to just go down as well because we do a lot of damage per shot. Now, I, okay, I was going to say, I believe Lou is in our base, and we're just going to try to avoid that super and try not to get caught in that. We're going to super Mortis, and Mortis is going to take so much damage on that last shot. And uh, we'll pop a gadget so that way if he walks that way, he's going to get slow, take some damage. And uh, we're going to win this game pretty handedly here. I don't think they can come back uh, unless Bella just goes down somehow. But yeah, we're going to win that game. Let's get in the next one. All right, so hopping into Brawl Ball right away here. And uh, we're looking to get some snipes on them. And if they group, they are going to get uh, splash damage where it just like goes from one to the other there. So we're going to get some nice shots. We're going to pop our gadget on this side. So if they walk up really far up, we're going to be able to spot them and it's going to slow them down and help our teammates. But we know they're over here. Actually, we'll pop another gadget just in case. So that way, both entrances are kind of blocked, which is really strong. And uh, we're going to be pushing up here and we're going to go for this Colette or Amber, I believe. Ooh, we popped a gadget by mistake, but that's no big deal. And uh, we're just going to chill and just wait. Wait till they push up because we can't really score there. So you'll see. Oh, see you. You'll see there that Surge uh, is very close to our gadget, but doesn't actually hit it. So you have to be really close to our gadget. We do go down there, but again, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. We'll be able to come back and, and score when we get back. So again, now we have our super. We're going to try to show this off to you. So we're going to hit someone with our super and then they'll be marked until they die. And uh, yeah, so we're going to super Amber there. So Amber is super uh, Amber got one shot there because she takes so much extra damage. And now we will get that kill. We'll just... We'll just pop our super just to kill them, finish them off. And now they can score if they play this right. And Byron is going to pass it back, unfortunately. So I'm not sure what happened there. But again, <laughs> their Colette will be spinning because they're... Oh, Colette's going to hit the wall. And yes, guys, this is a little bit of low trophies. But again, it's we're still giving you general tips for uh, to help you out pushing your uh, pushing your bell you know, at high trophies. The tips will still apply. Um, but anyway, we're hitting some shots now. Trying to end this game pretty quickly. And uh, I believe they're going to go down. Now, this is going to be... Can we kill this uh, Surge? So they should be able to score this this time. As long as they put the ball in the net. And there we go. We finally get the first goal. Now, we still need to score one more. But again, we shouldn't be too hard. Um, especially at this trophy level for us. So we're going to be pushing up on this Colette. And uh, again, we want to keep most of our range. But we actually are still pretty decently strong at close range now we did miss our super there uh, you see us auto aiming it, the auto aim range of the super and the shot is actually pretty close because the shot travels so fa uh, fast and then the super also is uh, pretty easy to auto aim but again you're going to want to aim most of your shots especially at long distance never auto aim and uh we're going to win this game they don't have a chance to come back and so we're moving on to the next mode all right, hopping into Ring of Fire, probably one of Bell's better maps. This could be a very good map for Bell. Uh, we still have to test this out a little bit more in scrims and stuff, but I believe this map will be very good for Bell because if they group up inside the hot zone or inside the grass, they're going to start taking uh, splash damage where it bounces back and forth between them. And uh, yeah, now we have our super. We have full control. We're going to super the Poco. We do unfortunately miss. The super is a little bit hard to miss. And the shots are or is, is a little bit. It's easy to miss, excuse me. And the shots are easy to miss as well. So take your time with the shots. Uh, you have a very slow reload speed. And, um, you know, it's, it's a long range shot. It's kind of a difficult shot to hit. So make sure you're taking your time with it because every shot counts. And you'll see we'll double tap Mr. P there. And we keep missing our super somehow. Uh, but we're hitting our shots and we're just missing our super. We are actually powered up by the rust now. So we do a ridiculous amount of damage. And we'll just go over 
and uh, we'll just push this Poco out of our base here and they're gonna start bouncing between them and we're gonna pop a gadget right here and that is so they can't push up that side and if they do they'll get slowed and uh, that's actually a very good spot to put a gadget as well as you could even put one in the mid here and it's good to put them when they they can't see them that way they they'll trigger them without even knowing and we're just hitting a bunch of shots there's no way they can uh, just push up here especially when we're powered up and this time can we hit our super yes so we hit our super now if you see uh, if we hit this Poco, she's going to take a ton of damage, uh, but she was one shot, so she went down anyway. Uh, but again, we're at 78% to their 30%. There's basically no way they come back as long as we don't choke. And uh, we're just going to be supering the power there and one-shotting her, basically. And Mr. P will give up, and that will be the game inside of uh, Ring of Fire, a great map for Bell. Uh, if this is out for you, I suggest trying to push her here, see how it works for you guys. But getting into the last mode here, hopping into the last mode that's out right now, and it's going to be nuts and bolts, a pretty wally map where it's probably not going to be great for Bell because again, you're going to have to get up close and personal to hit some shots. And then that reason alone will be hard uh, to, you know, you don't really want to get close to the enemies. But again, Bell is actually very strong right now. I hear a lot of pros ranking her, you know, top two, top three, even, you know, so just keep an eye on her. Bell. Not a lot of people have her right now, but she's probably going to be pretty broken inside the game. Um, and yeah, so we're going to win this first bot three to zero and they're going to be grouped up. You can't be grouped up versus a bell because you'll never be able to heal and you see it's bouncing between them. And now I believe it even bounces from the safe to the enemy. So when they're defending, you can just shoot this safe and it's going to start bouncing between them if they don't, uh, you know, if they don't split up and try to defend it, split up. So again, we're going to be, uh, shooting them. <laughs> There's not much they can do. I think they're already giving up. But again, you'll see that we get a shield every time we hit someone, and that shield is so strong. So look, we tank so much extra damage, and uh, I believe Leon is going to give up already. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but yes, this game was almost impossible for the whim for them to win at this point. Uh, but again, we're just going to be trying to super the save. Uh, we're going to super the save. We want to see if it actually procs uh, Bell's uh, super. So we're going to have to see here, waiting for this bot to push in a little bit. And uh, unfortunately, the bot is stuck onto that wall there. So we're going to have to wait a little bit. And uh, we're just going to try to super. Um, oh, my God. Colette is going to block that, which is so annoying. Um, so we want to hit Colette. We want to hit. Uh, we want to get our super, but we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to get our super. So we didn't get to test that. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, we're going to win that game. We're going to win on every single mode. All right, so that's going to be it for the video. Now, I know a lot of you still don't have Bell just yet, but I know you're getting a little bit closer to tier 30, and hopefully watching this video helped you when you unlock Bell to start pushing Bell inside of any mode that you guys want. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, comment down below if you have Bell already, and uh, see you in the next video. Peace.